Now let's see to the moment of the diaphragm. The chest wall is made up of ribs, muscles and the skin. The ribs are attached to the at an angle to the spine. The diaphragm may be imagined as a floor if you think the chest cavity as a room. The lungs themselves can draw in air and nor push it out. Instead, the chest wall muscles and another flexible flattened muscles called diaphragm The diaphragm helps the lungs in moving in air and out of them. When the diaphragm is relaxed, when we breathe out, it is in the shape of a dome. When the diaphragm is relaxed, when we breathe out, it is in the shape of a dome with convex side extending into the chest cavity. When the diaphragm contacts during inhalation, it flattens out a bit or the dome moves downwards. As a result, the volume of the chest cavity is increased. Now, let's see to the diagram the moment of diaphragm. This is called as chest wall muscles. Here we can see here the chest wall muscles. Trachea is also called as windpipe. These are the rib bones. Bronchi. The trachea is branched into two bronchi. Lungs. This region we call this as diaphragm. Breathing is a process of inhalation and exhalation of air. When the diaphragm flattens and the volume of the chest cavity is increased, its internal pressure decreases and air from outside rushes into the lungs. This is called as inhalation or inspiration. When the diaphragm flattens, the volume of the chest cavity is increased. Its internal pressure decreases and the air from outside rushes into the air from outside enters into the lungs, rushes into the lungs and enter into the lungs. This is called as inhalation. During breathing, when we exhale the air out, when the chest wall is lowered and moves inwards and the diaphragm relaxes assuming its dome shape. These changes increases the pressure on the lungs. Their elastic tissue contracts and squeezes the air out. When the chest wall is lowered and moves inward, and the diaphragm relaxes and assumes its dome shape, these changes increases the pressure on the lungs. Their elastic tissue contacts and squeezes the air out of the nose to the external atmosphere. This is called as exhalation or expiration. Now, let's we quickly sum up. Breathing is a process of inhalation and exhalation of air. When the diaphragm flattens, the volume of the chest cavity is increased. Its internal pressure decreases and air from outside rushes inside the lungs. The air from outside rushes into the lungs. This is called as inhalation or inspiration. When we exhale the breath, when the chest cavity is lowered and, the, and moves inwards, the diaphragm relaxes and assumes a dome shape. These changes increases the pressure on the lungs. The elastic tissue contracts and squeezes the air out through the nose 
to the external atmosphere. This is called as expiration or exhalation.